Hi, this is Chris from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. Indicted a second time and a third time and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. Can you get more insulting? <laughs> Do you, do you really think that people like you because you were indicted, because there is some suggestion that's being made here that people see themselves in you? <sighs> oh my God. Are we just going to be stuck in springtime for Hitler face until November? I think I so. Think so. Just, <laughs> just oh my one. God. Uh, by the way, uh, I triggered Frangela early. I sent her every single one of these songs. Oh no, you did not particularly needed my backup and my black up this weekend because i was like i oh my god they carry around pictures of his mugshot in their wallet right mm -hmm. they're selling for 19 dollars. i think that was the other implication is black people are making money off him and he didn't okay um so then he tried to save that by saying oh it's because they've been persecuted unfairly too oh you mean like the central park five that mm. some uh you know racist a-hole mm -hmm. took out a ad that he paid when, when does he ever pay for anything himself he paid for an ad a full page ad that they should be executed mm -hmm. and even after they were cleared by dna evidence oh my god mm -hmm. black people like because like because they've been persecuted oh my god and last, laura Coates, last week was navalny i'm navalny this week i'm a persecuted black boy i was raised a, he literally we are in a steve martin movie yes, i are. was raised a poor black child he is the I jerk. Was yeah <laughs> laura coat's face i wish we could have played just the look on her yes. face it was yes. just like yes uh, and that wasn't at best that wasn't even <laughs> all of it no let's, no let's no. i'm being indicted for you no. the black population i am being indicted for so nice a lot of different groups mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh-huh yeah, oh please skip ahead uh-huh he's just like me i too have been indicted <laughs> that discrimination and all that accompanies it mm. can be reduced to what your experience has mm. been mm. i guess stereotypes might be the yeah. new platform here. Forget a family man, forget a businessman, forget actual policies you might hold and want to put out into the universe. No, be you must like me because you too have had a run in with the law. <laughs> How about the, I can only, I can only see, the, I, I can only see, I can only see the white people. I can't see the black ones I know, I out there. The lights are in my eyes. I can't see the black ones. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so that was just one, and then the rest of the, there were so many was was speech. rambling yeah, that and was incoherent, just one speech. and I, <laughs> he had, oh, by the way, so the big uh, mainstream media story is Biden uses note cards sometimes, mm -hmm. he needed a note card to thank his family, he couldn't run, and he still forgot Eric, and Laura, saying, and Laura, who he once <laughs> well, on the RNC, who are standing right there, to right. be fair, everyone oh my god, he remembered Eric. Tiffany, <laughs> everyone forgets Eric, so, yeah. Eric's like, oh my god, I caught like a several million dollar fine, and Tiffany gets a shout out. <laughs> oh, Tiffany got a shout yeah. out. Eric did. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, what about Baron? Did Baron get a shout out? Uh, it's all he ever says. Very tall. He's very tall. He's very, tall. He's very good tall. at being What's his name again. He's good at being tall. Gets good grades for that. Oh my wow. god. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, oh, god. oh my god. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Uncle Rob Reiner, who tweets, Democrats, stop the hand-wringing. It's Biden versus Trump. It's democracy versus fascism. Time to go all in on Biden. Just do it. Do it! Thank you. Jesus! Oh, my God, Kristen Welker. I'm going to... You know what, Chris? I do like myself more than I thought I do. Really? I don't watch Meet the Press anymore. I can't. Oh, Kristen Welker is just as bad as Chuck Todd. Girl. Just the clips are enough. I can't. I'm she literally phrased it. Yeah. Is it responsible for Joe Biden to stay in the ring? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Donald Trump is on his way to prison. He has clearly got dementia. I, it, it, okay, I can't. And yet the story is... Mm -hmm. Okay. Biden's old. I guess if it, Biden's old. Yeah. It's our, 14, I believe. Thank you, our one. dear friend Michelangelo Signorelli here on my fantastic Sirius XM Progress channel. He said, is it, re is it responsible for this woman to be on TV asking these idiotic questions? <laughs> when did they ask if it's responsible to have Trump on the top of the ticket? They asked GOP politicians if they support his ideas, they deflect, and journalists let it go. But they never ask if it's responsible to risk allowing an unhinged racist hell-bent on dictatorship on the ticket. I, you left out racist, Michelangelo. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha you back. Yeah, is this the, and God bless Gavin Newsom. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, he's good at this. It's very good. Oh my God, by the way, 
all the taxpayer money they wasted on the recall where he won by more <laughs> than he won the original race. Uh -huh. He's using that to run ads and uh, pro-choice ads yeah. in red states. <laughs> he, 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 and then a he. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where is this one? 14? Oh, please. Why not? All right. 76% yeah. of voters say they have real concerns oh, about up. President Biden's ability to serve a second term. Do you think it's responsible for Democrats them. to put him at the top of the ticket given those concerns? Oh, responsible. I revere his record. Oh. I, I mean, this, what he's done in three years has been a master class, close Thank to you. 15 million jobs. That's eight times more than the last three Republican presidents combined. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. I would love to see him be president someday. <laughs> God, I seriously, is it responsible? No one's asked a Republican, is nope. it responsible to be about to be convicted felony, felon and rapist? A convicted rapist? Oh uh, adjudicated rapist. Adjudicated rapist. Thank you. Sorry. Yes. Thank you. No. Thank you, Reed Gallen. <laughs> Don't let uh, uh, Trump get away with the four years ago bull. Uh, four years ago, we were on the precipice of unprecedented death, economic mm -hmm. destruction, and rank incompetence on behalf of everyone in the Trump bleach will kill COVID White House. Thank you. Thank oh you. Oh, my God. What, what is it? They say 40% of the deaths were due to Trump's incompetence. Mm -hmm. I, I'm I, okay. Black you okay. Yeah. You need really. a pop tart? No. No. <laughs> no. Haven't needed one since uh, eighth grade. Okay. All Thank right. You. We'll try to get one for you yeah. one of these days. We Black have cat treats. Do you want a cat treat? Black Knight <laughs> says every time there's an election where people can actually vote, we find out Biden is more popular mm -hmm. with Democrats than Trump is with Republicans, but the media keeps lying to you. Biden wins 96% in South Carolina. Media, very concerning. Maybe Biden should drop out. Trump wins uh, 59% in South Carolina. Media, overwhelmingly dominant win, crushing the entire Republican establishment yet again and barreling towards yet another GOP nomination. Thank you black knight i just i know I, right mm -hmm. i mean really really after 15 dresses 16 dresses that you tried oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> yes would you like uh would you like a review of the weekend i jody suggested to play because jody looks good in anything yes she does You're any party sweet. she's ever been to someone's like oh my god i love your dress virginia that dress oh my god Okay, so the first two I got for the place, Jody, got, but right, the San Francisco dress, the sparkly, great. I have black mesh one, fantastic. This is like that Katherine Heigl movie, but it's just dresses, 27, 27 dresses. Exactly. Oh my God. My girlfriend was subjected to the longest fashion show ever. His, she just sequins all over her did face you have, and her hair. She's did you like, have music playing oh like God. Julia Roberts? <laughs> yes. I did the hot stepper. <laughs> sequins flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It was a bust. I'm returning 15 dresses this morning. It was. A, I, you know what it is? I don't have boobs, Jody. I don't. It's Star Wars. <laughs> if they should buy wars. <laughs> <laughs> Jody was uh, mentioning what uh, dress she wore to uh, when her mom won the oddly named Carol Burnett Award at the Golden Globes. Yeah, and we were saying she like was Lou Gehrig's. What's the oh, chances uh, Lou Gehrig was going to get Lou Gehrig's? And also, Yakov. Uh, quite. It's, <laughs> Kreutzfeldt Jakob both died of Kreutzfeldt Jakob syndrome. So, so weird. Yeah. So weird. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was an inappropriate little detour. What? <laughs> I've been. I am literally a fashion victim. I've got to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> and we have some big announcements. We got big sexy liberal announcements coming up. I believe those announcements are coming up next week, aren't a they? A week from today. A week from today. Are they? They are. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. We're putting together a show. <laughs> My dad's got a barn. <laughs> We're going to put together a show. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Where's Mickey Rooney and Judy when All you need right. them? Right. <laughs> Thank you, Seth Abramson. A look inside the South Carolina numbers for Donald Trump is pretty brutal. Agree with Elisa Farah, a former Trump aide, that the South Carolina results are actually a five-alarm fire for the, that mm -hmm. the GOP is ignoring. Good. And I agree with uh, Chris Christie. Trump is going to be convicted for his crime soon. The GOP is digging itself a hole it can't get out of that is going to look apocalyptically and historically stupid. Uh, and to brazenly mix metaphor, uh, the bill is going to come due sooner than they realize. Mm -hmm. um, everybody, shush, shush, shush. www.zipit.com. Mm. You're going the right way. Yes. Everyone loves it. Hmm. 
Brian Tyler Cole, one last one. Trump was rejected by 40% of Republicans last night in South Carolina, despite being viewed as the incumbent by his incumbent. party. Meanwhile, Biden got 96% of the vote in South Carolina. The Republican Party is severely divided. Democrats are historically united. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, you two bedwetters. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this party started. It's okay, oh, Chris. They're just pundit as he does. <laughs> summed up very succinctly Nikki Haley is staying in because mm -hmm. Trump might stroke out or go to prison mm -hmm. period <laughs> I mean obvi quite well, obviously well, why there, she's staying in there's also Super Tuesday coming up next week right that's so super she, thanks for asking yeah so she I think she may actually do pretty well yeah. during Super yeah. Tuesday so yeah. that's well, what I, like, that's what she's holding out for. there I mean someone was breaking down these I don't know if I have where cold please talk amongst yourselves um someone broke down the actual numbers but uh, you know if the amount of people now that say they'll either Republicans right. never right. vote for Trump right. or if he's convicted, I mean, he's screwed. Yeah. It, these are yeah. landslide right. numbers. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. my point is, okay. And a lot of people in Super Tuesday states are saying, hey, we still would like a chance to you know, you. have a have a say in, yeah. in who's the nominee here. So yeah, yeah, yeah they're and getting a little bit. By the way, fancy. I need to. I, oh, thank you. I need some Jasmine Crockett directly in my veins. Okay. This is why I'm wearing my MVP, Madam Vice President, T-shirt. Thank you. The only reason that MAGA can see a black or a woman that is in power, let alone a black woman, is if for some reason we were given a handout. When the reality is that. We have to work 10 times as hard as our white male counterparts to get anywhere in this life. Mm -hmm. Because think about it this way. We have a president that failed up into the White House. <laughs> because if that had been a black woman that had the number of affairs, that had the, the number of marriages, that had the number of baby mamas that Trump had, then they would never be there. In fact, a black woman being vice president is too much for them. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, she had some further thoughts. We'll get to later. But I, I was saying this after the show on Friday, right? We were to Frangela and I were talking that this whole like racist, sexist fear mongering yep. they're doing. You're, oh, you're gonna end up with a president Kamala Harris. Uh oh, you vote for Biden. I'm like, am I the only one? I'm like, yay! I know, me too. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Me I mean, on. I hate to say it. I don't know if this country is too racist and sexist to elect. A, a black woman right now I'm like good if she's the incumbent I think she's fantastic as you know I was team Kamala in the primary and then I switched to, to Liz Warren you know but um I, I think she's fantastic Thank and you. I'm like you know I who knows wouldn't that be fantastic if that was Dark Brandon's plan all along steps down in the last year passes the torch Woo! my point is woot Chris all right my point is my point is woot all right yeah maybe that's how we have to get our first Woman, Female, yeah, woman president. I mean, we were saying. I guess the Obama and Hillary elections prove we're a more, you know, sexist country than yeah. we are racist, even. But uh, yeah, we shall see, right? Hmm. Oh, Seth Abrams had some thoughts on 2016. Did I? Did I mention I'll die mad? And she did actually yeah. win, but I don't. Okay, we'll talk about that. I don't think I've mentioned it before. No, I've never yeah. heard that before. Okay. That's new. All right, I'm sorry. I have a sequin in my eye <laughs> from Saturday. <laughs> I'm literally a fashion victim. <laughs> There's sequins everywhere. You got to go up there. Oh well, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. When it's you like Bob, Ma like Bob that, Mackie yeah. had a party yeah. up yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's just, it's just you know, Liberace just a bunch yeah. of guys in my bedroom.